Hi guys, today we're going to do a video that's going to be all about weight um, and kids, yeah. So, why are some children overweight? That's the question of the day. And I'm going to read um, the introduction paragraph from ehow.com. Okay, here we go. Um, there are more overweight kids in the US today than ever before. Why? First, children prefer modes of entertainment. They've moved from active pursuits to sedentary ones like um, TV, the computer and video games. Second, kids are often fed fatty, salty foods. Finally, American lifestyle is more geared toward driving and toward walking without exercise built into kids' everyday lives. They begin to gain weight. And it is also better for them to do exercises instead of TV and computer and whatever, like I said before. Okay, so there's the um, introductory paragraph. Um, there are four main points I have to discuss why kids get fat. Well, first of all, um, I think we eat too much. Um, the, the British diet over here in England, which is where I live, this is how the diet's meant to go. You wake up, this is not drinks as well by the way, even though you should be having as much water as possible, right? Okay, so you wake up and you have a breakfast. It might be eggs on toast, anything. Anything you want for breakfast at all. Um, an average sized meal, okay? Then, um, hopefully, you should be seen through to about 12 o'clock to have some lunch. Um, and then you can have for your lunch something like maybe a packet of crisps and yogurt or something. Maybe for your lunch, just a quick snack. A lunch snack, as the British people call it. And then, after that, you have you get your main course of the day. Which, is, which I personally think is meant to be um, the largest plate of the day. Still, still within reasonable size though. Yeah, still can't be ridiculously big. Just quite a big plate, you know, because it's your last thing, the last big thing you're gonna have before you go to bed. And over here, you should have your main course at about six o'clock, ideally. And you should have anything you want: pasta, um, pizza, salad, um beans anything absolutely any food at all you want as long as you keep it within the reserve times overweight kids a lot these days they start off with the breakfast so they have eggs and toast whatever right whatever they want you know what they do after that get a packet of crisps out have a chocolate bar lunch time comes they have another packet of crisps and a yogurt maybe then before tea they ha might have a packet of sweets, or c might might just grab um, a Lucasair bottle, of like loads of fizzy pop, maybe even another packet of crisps and a chocolate bar and another yogurt or whatever they want. Then tea time comes, they're a, bit, a little bit full, but th they manage to squeeze it in. Then afterwards, ooh, you know, this should only be done occasionally. You know what they do? They get a custard tart, stick it in a bowl, pour some warm custard over it. And it's pretty big bowl, let's say, by the way. And then they might even just sneak in another thing after that. And I've heard that's why um, major obesity comes in kids these days. Um, a lot of it's related to America for some reason. I think um, a lot of it happens in America. I think it's um, popular for kids to be overweight in America. I think that's... Uh, sorry, guys, if that's, if that's wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is just the websites I've been reading on the internet, and today's one, like I said, is on um, ehow.com. Okay, the second point. Moving on to the second point now. The second point is um, don't do enough exercise. Yeah. So, kids ages ago, they never used to be that much overweight. Because they used to run, jog, hop, skip, weight lift, whatever they want. Even go to the gym. You know, sometimes. You know, yeah, do about an hour. Or if you want to do two hours at the gym. The more the merrier. Yep, do lots of exercise. A lot of kids today spend a lot of time in front of computer screens. Like, well, let's not go 24-7. But up to 8 hours a day they can spend in front of the computer screen. Quite ridiculous to be honest when you think about it. Just moving a few buttons, you just sat on the bum. You know, not doing absolutely anything whatsoever. And that again is an alternative. Um, another thing. Let's move on to the third point. That was a shortest point then. Third point, they eat the wrong stuff. 
So one day they might have pizza. Uh, a pasta pizza. Why would you have that every single day? A lot of these kids. Oh, they have a takeaway every single day. All that grease and oil that's been... These horrible, fattening, crappy ingredients have been put into this thing. And these kids are whatever, eating it every single day. Can you imagine? I don't know how... You, I think you'd be, uh, be sick quite often, you know, to be honest. Sick once a fortnight, maybe. Sometimes. Then what makes it even worse is that like they never stop eating the takeaway they just, they'll just have it non-stop there'll be one day when they have something healthier but the rest of the days no no chance just scoffing on old takeaway food why can't they just altern turn alternate it for maybe one takeaway a week and then just have something light and healthy the, the rest of the days so maybe one day you have a salad, one day you maybe have some low fat fish doing some of like parsnips and everything. Then maybe one day you can have a chill out day where you can, you know, stuff your face a bit, why not? But as long as you just keep healthy the rest of the days. Final point really quickly guys, um, yeah, the final point is the parents don't do things right. They encourage their kids to put on weight and they're putting on too much weight. They should encourage the kids to lose weight. They should go, come on, son, get on that treadmill and you run as much as you can. And you burn as many calories as possible off. And that's a good thing. A lot of people mistake um, obesity for puppy fat. Now, yes, before the age of 12, you will have a round stomach, ideally. You will only get a flat stomach at about the age of 12 and abdominals at the age of 14 that there's my rough estimates and someone on the actual website is put in the comments I'll just read their comment just get into it now guys yeah um, Grace Esteno says um, thanks for the insightful reminder I wish more, many more parents could read this article and help their kids avoid being obese for their own sakes true that um, that is a valid point apart from the puppy fat Anyway guys, thanks for watching my video, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and I will see you tomorrow with another Question of the Day video. Bye.